hello guys in today's tutorial i'm going to be breaking down this scene from vox youtube video why china is losing the microchip war in 2012 zong cheng yu left his job as an engineer at a company called asml the only company in the world that can make this machine this machine makes the most advanced semiconductor chips or microchips in the world after he left asml so if you want more videos like this or if you enjoy videos like this please subscribe to the channel and turn on your notification to get more tutorials like this so thank you and let's get into it so inside of after effect i have imported some of the assets i'll be using so the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to go down to my asset here go down to this image here and i'll drag both of these here like this then separate them then i'll also resize this later but i need to bring in i'll create a new solid layer and i'll use this color picker here to pick the color from here bring this down here like this then for this frame i'm just going to bring in the scale value uncheck this so i can scale this down like this then move it to the side i need to scale this down to just a bit like this so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to animate this so i'm just going to bring up the position go let's say maybe one second for set a keyframe for the position come back to the beginning of our timeline then bring this down just maybe out of frame like this and we have a simple animation then next i'm going to at one second i'm going to draw a max it's just going to be a rectangle max so i'm just going to hold down shift oh no, no need and draw a max then i'm also going to go down and bring in ruler and guide I'm just going to place this guide here just in a minute you see why i'm using this then set a keyframe for this max part so once you go back to the beginning of, of your timeline you see that this max has moved with the layer so that's why that layer and guide is there i'll just click here go back to my selection tool then move this and place it just right here like this now you see we have this simple animation here so next, I'm going to bring in the image of this guy here. I'm pronouncing his name. I'm going to scale this down, place it in the middle here. Then go to my vector layers and I'll bring in this frame and scale this down too. And also uncheck the link so that you can scale them independently. I'll just go a few frames forward after one second, maybe like this. Then set a keyframe for the position. Of the frame set the keyframe for the position then go back let's say a few seconds forward then move the frame like this and again just like what you did the first time i'm just going to bring this this time for the image i'm just going to bring this guide and place them like this then draw a max for our image and not the not the frame Go down to the max part and set a keyframe here make sure it's on the same line as the frame then go to the second keyframe then move your max now let's play this back now we have this so you can also go make them easy ease so the next thing i'm going to do i'm just going to draw a shape around here for its name i'm just going to make sure this is not a max and the fill is close to black or oh, i'll just use the pen to here to select the color of this frame here and okay no stroke then click off bring out my text to here then i'm just going to paste this name like this go to character and reduce the font size and i'm going to make this white then select both layers and pre-compose them Set a keyframe for the max part. So go back a bit, then drag this off. So next, I'm going to create another text here. So I have it already saved in my. I'm just going to center this below our text here. Go down to my character and I'll make this the color of our frame here. Click OK. Then once again, I'll draw a max, max it out like this. Use my guide to. Make sure you set a keyframe for the max part. Then bring up our position to set a keyframe 
the same place then i'll just go back a bit over our text above this then click on your max then bring it down so now we have this animation select everything here and pre-comb them so this is going to be our first pre-comb so i'm just going to hide this because you're going to create all the pre-comps before we start animating them so next i'm going to bring in this old frame here then drag in my logo also then for the logo i'm just going to scale this down then i'm just going to set the keyframe here for maybe one second or so set the keyframe for the position then go back just before the beginning of our timeline to the second keyframe i'll draw a max for the for the logo then once again use our guide place them accordingly then set a keyframe for the parts and you know the drill i'm just going to bring in the keyframes closer so that it animates quicker i'm just going to select both of these this is all for the second part and pre-compose this move our attribute but i'm going to uncheck this so for the next part i'm going to bring in several images of the bring up their scale property and scale it down so i'm just i'm going to bring in aslm machine place it in the middle then go to my rectangle tool and select the ellipse tool here so this time the fill let's use the previous color we used before so i'm just going to do this like this and move this below then to animate this I'm just going to select all of this, bring up their position and set a keyframe there. Then go back a few frames forward and bring them closer. So bring the machine and the shape below. So now when you play back, you have this separation here. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to bring in this image of a chip here. Then I'm going to scale this down to around 50, position it like this. Then I'm going to duplicate this into 8 places. Then for the 8th one, I'm going to move it to the side like this. Then select all of them. Go down to your align tool here. Distribute this horizontally. Then pre-compose this. Duplicate this pre-comp here. Then for this second pre-comp, I'm going to scale it up a bit. Then reposition it like this. Then I'm going to draw a shape here so i'm going to animate this select both of the pre -com. bring up their position select a keyframe here then go forward then move this then right here i'm going to for the for the uh, top pre -com here i'm going to go down to my ellipse and draw a max around it it's going to be an ellipse max I'm just going to hold down Control shift and draw the max from the beginning here like this and like always use your guides to position this properly make sure you set a keyframe for the max part like this go to the second keyframe then move your max back then do the same thing for the second pre-comp here because you know that when, once you're animating you can still see, see it behind it Then make this max subtract like this. Then for the main pre-comp, for the top pre-comp here, the larger one, I'm just going to make the fader a bit, just going to fader it out like this. Then go down to the max expansion and bring it down a bit. See? So to animate this, first I'm going to turn on this first composition here and I'm going to go where the animation ends then i'll create a new null layer bring up the position for the null layer and set a keyframe here then go forward a bit and before i do that i'm going to bring in this arrow here select both layers and parent them to the null layer then move our null layer down like this then bring up the second composition and i'm going to move forward a bit where the animation ends copy this keyframe here the second keyframe and paste it like this then come forward a bit bring in another arrow parent this to the null layer 
then i'm going to bring in the rotation for the null layer and the position to set keyframes for both places then go for the bit like this then go for the bit like this then use the rotation rotate it a bit then move the position outside like this then bring in the next layer and parent it to our null layer So next i'm going to copy these two layers here go for the bit to where the animation ends and paste it there then i'm going to go down then bring in our last layer here and print it to our null so now we have this animation here So I'm going to customize this animation to fit in with the audio of Fox Media. So I'm just going to add a camera and some light leaks and maybe some grims to this animation to make it look more like what Fox Studio did. So if you want to see more tutorials like this, please follow our channel. And if you want the project file, please head on to my Patreon and download this. Thank you and see you in the next tutorial. Thank you. In 2012, Zhang Cheng Yu left his job as an engineer at a company called ASML, the only company in the world that can make this machine. This machine makes the most advanced semiconductor chips, or microchips, in the world.